Welcome guys, this video is going to be about buffers in Helix and having multiple buffers open that basically just means that you have multiple files loaded into memory and you can work with them at the same time. So let me show you this. Right now I have only this one buffer here, this one file, but of course I can press space F to go to the file picker and then I can just use another file here and let's open this file with enter and now I have this file open but of course now what if I want to go back to the other file? Well simple, it's still open as a buffer and that means I can still work with it. You can show all buffers with space B. This is the picker for all buffers and of course you can go between them here. So now I have these two buffers here and I can switch between them like this. You can also uh, use the command colon buffer next or for short just bn. And that will also send you to the next buffer. And of course you can also do bp for buffer previous. And you can switch between these two buffers this way. Another way is you can use go to mode and you can just press g n to go to the next buffer and g p to go to the previous buffer. If you want to close the current buffer you can use b c or buffer close. That will close this current buffer here. So now if I press space b again you can see I only have this one buffer open now. If you want to close all buffers you can use colon buffer close all or b c a and that will close all buffers but without quitting Helix. So now I have no buffers or I have just this empty buffer here because I don't have any open files. So let me open another file here. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Let's just get a Rust file again. There's also write buffer close, which saves and closes the buffer. So if you want to save and close the buffer, you can use write buffer close or WBC. As you can see there, it says write changes the disk and closes the buffer. Of course, you can also give a file path here if you want to. Some file, whatever, you know. What's really useful when working with different buffers is having a buffer line. And you can enable that by typing colon set space buffer line always. And that enables the buffer line at the top there. You can also do uh, set buffer line uh, multiple and that uh, will only enable the buffer line when you have more than one buffer open. So now it's gone. But if I open another file here, now I have two buffers and now I can see the buffer line again. And this is very useful because of course now you can see at all times which buffers you have open and you can use GN and GP to switch between them. Of course if you want to make this permanent you have to put this configuration in your uh, config.toml file, in your configuration file for Helix. And yeah, that's it for this video guys. See you in the next video. Bye!